Hi, I'm Rod McKinnon. This is my wife Sandra. We're dairy farming 10 minutes south of Matamata at Hinuera. Currently we milk 400 cows. Our total property is 196 hectares. Mostly free, milking Frisian cows and Frisian cross cows. So we started off with 40 hectares in 1992, was our first farm. We'd worked our, our way up through the ranks there, starting as, as farm workers. I work off farm as my usual role, but I've been involved in some of the plantings and things that we've done here. So we've added to the farm three times. I think for, we began with the 40, we've now grown it to 196. Our last addition came in a couple of years ago. Each of those has brought new challenges as far as plantings, trees, erosion, those sorts of things. But I guess the good thing is being on the property for the same period of time means that you can really concentrate on it for 26 years. In 2015, Sandra and I decided to start our own farm environmental plan. And so we identified around the farm some of the areas where we could improve environmentally. In 2016, we entered into a, an agreement with Waikato Regional Council, which helped fund for a part portion of that cost for us to develop that plan and the processes going forward. So our initial focus was on wetlands and probably erosion areas uh, and also planting along the Mangafia stream which we have now completed. It was a few kilometres down there and back that's growing pretty well down there now. The wetlands we, we then began 2016 and again in 2017. It's a pretty steep learning curve. A few errors were made there, lost a few plants and flooding probably didn't help the side of the rivers either but we're pleased to say it, it's coming along quite nicely and it seems to be that as soon as you finish another one you're on to a next one. We've probably done about five I suppose with the wetlands now as I said the river is completed and a bit of erosion focus with poplars being planted along the riverbanks. In the last few years we've planted upwards of 18,000 plants many of them we've sourced ourselves and then we have actually had help from outside growers and planters to get that job done. We, we initially found that we started off with a lot of zeal and it, it became really hard work. So the wetlands, I'm quite keen on planting up because they're, they're, they're easier I suppose, but we have paid people to do some of our areas down the back which have just been too steep. Our plants initially was a bit of a learning curve as well, you know plants they cost and um, we all want to do this as, as cheap as we can so that we can you know make a get job and, and get more plants in. So we, we went for a variety, we grow our own now, not a lot, we, I've planted about 5,000 probably in the last couple of years that, that I've grown from seedlings. We found the, the council were very helpful with us, once a year they have really good prices for trees that we've also stockpiled as well. So I do try and keep it simple with the plants that we put in there, looking at manuka, flax, toy toy, some grasses that we plant in there as well, the pittosporums. Probably our biggest problem is actually releasing them, it's easier to get them in the ground, it's, it's harder to make sure they grow. For us, sustainability is, is more than just a word, it's what we are, it's, it's who we are, it's bandied around, talked a lot, but, but you have to provide a place and a, and, a, and a process for future generations to continue to do what we're doing as farmers in New Zealand. We've loved being on this farm and growing it to where it is today, in particular it's Rod's baby, he certainly bought it at this level and I think he had the vision for it. It was fantastic to be recognised by the Balanced Farm Environmental Awards. We certainly didn't expect that, that was somewhat of a surprise to us, it was just doing what we'd been doing. Our most honoured sort of award was the one for stewardship and I think that was really the best one that we had of those for looking after the land, preparing it for the future and making sure it's sustainability. We're extremely lucky to have staff who completely share our vision for the farm. I have ex-staff members that still come to the farm and help us plant or, and that's just part of the philosophy of what we bring to this farm so that it's a complete involvement by everyone. Look it's a difficult time to be a farmer and I think that's, that's pretty obvious by the growth in mental health issues along the rural sector. Concerns such as fluctuating payouts, the weather being dependent on that and at times criticism from the public through social media most farmers are trying really hard to do the right thing and it's not easy, it's expensive, it's time consuming, it's difficult I think to face some of these sort of issues. I think one of the ways ahead is, is in our youth and I think they already come from different environments that perhaps people like Rod and I grew up in. They're already more environmentally friendly, I think they're, they're best practices are probably going to be better than what ours were 30 years ago and so it's my hope that with those new attitudes that perhaps they will have an impact on farming and also on the environment as well. So we need to encourage them, we need to recruit them and we need to support them. So what is the future like for us? Well it's a continuation of what we're doing, it's the encouragement to help other farmers 
along their path towards sustainability. For us, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of diversification, and of course there's always another tree to plant or another wetland to fill. 